there are three major areas which uh, we will focus on in august maritime security peacekeeping and counter terrorism India is uh, very happy to take over as president of the Security Council for this month. Uh, it is a privilege for me and my team in the permanent mission of India in New York, as indeed it is for all of us in India. As you know, it has been seven months since we entered the Security Council, and this is our eighth tenure. So this stint in the Security Council is not just about our presidency, but about the Indian presence itself. As I've said uh, in a few times in a few occasions earlier, this still gives us an opportunity to play an important role yet again in shaping some of the important challenges facing international peace and security. We have also provided the much needed focus and balance so far in the Security Council. I believe we have been a sobering and responsible voice and we have also been bridging different views, especially when the Council is polarized. And we have not hesitated to stand out, even when the P5 ha had a different view. Conflicts have only increased, not decreased in COVID times, putting considerable pressure on UN peacekeepers, on UN resources. So in this scenario, India's priorities in the UN, particularly in the Security Council, has had a very clear focus on issues which are directly relevant to the international community. And for example, international terrorism, peacekeeping, enhancing international peace and security, sensitivity to developing country issues, especially Africa and small states, reformed multilateralism, and furthering the agenda on women and human-centric development. And I just wanted to put it in perspective. You know, we should also not forget that we are playing a very proactive role outside the council as well, for example, in the UN General Assembly and ECOSOC. So this is the background with which we will approach our presidency. There are three major areas which uh, we will focus on in August, maritime security, peacekeeping and counterterrorism. And we will focus on these three themes through three signature events during our presidency. And uh, as you have rightly pointed out, I think maritime security discussion is a first. And, uh, you know, maritime security has always received a very high priority in our foreign policy. We have never failed to highlight the manifestations of terrorist activities across the world, especially now, for example, in Africa, where it is increasing. So we hope to discuss the Secretary General's report on ISIL and Daesh and keep the spotlight on this matter. <laughs>